So they trained that horse's reflexes, that whole horse. They trained it every time you're nervous, stop, and it, free, it would freeze. And from a halt, a horse can rear, back up, buck, cut cattle. You see what cutting horses do. A horse at a halt can go any direction. All right, so the flag, I'm going to get more um, direct with it, where now I'm starting to face him, and now I'm bringing that flag way more past his hindquarters, but I always follow up with having the horse come to me. And then I might turn and halt. I come over the top, and I'm coming right past the hind here. He crosses the hind legs, and now maybe I bring it over here and lead that front end through. Now, it'll get to a point where some of you go, I do that. And other, other folks, you might say, I, I don't know if I could do that. But you can modify. You can do it your way, in a way that works for you. But see, because he's always chasing the danger, the flag, chase the danger, face the danger, it's a better place to be. Because if the danger gets behind your horse, where's your horse going? In the next county, right? So chase the danger, face the danger, face up, tell, teach a horse that's naturally afraid, that wants to run first thing. Teach a horse, say, you look at what's scary. So when those big cart horses come rolling in, face that. Have your horse face that, right? And, and don't put its tail to it. So I teach that right away with the flag. So I start to now touch the hindquarters, but I keep on walking past. And now I'm a little bit more direct with it. I touch the hindquarters and I walk right on past. And then, maybe I could get to where I could send him off on a circle and flag him in motion. And here, here's something to think about. He wants to stop, but I'm going to say, no, I want some motion. So I'm going to get tall, lead, lift, and if I need to, maybe I drive a little with the flag, but I'm flagging him in movement and while he is in motion. And the reason I'm doing that, that's what you're going to do when you're riding. Chances are you're not going to be standing around nearly as much as you're going to be moving your horse. So if I'm wearing a raincoat or if I'm just on a young horse that I started, if he can carry a flag, if he can handle a flag while he's moving, see, if he can handle it in motion, I'm setting myself up for riding. And so much of the time you hear people talk about desensitizing a horse. And there, I understand what that means and to some extent, I do that. To some extent, I, I do the opposite. I sensitize him. But the idea is he can handle that stimulus in motion, even getting up into like a trot. So he could handle that flag at the trot. So here's the rider. You're simulating that. If this horse had never been ridden, this, this would be like me sitting up there. Or I could bring it behind him. Or I could touch his feet. And then if I bring my posture down and I relax my feet and I stop my motion, he stops his. And I always say, if a horse can handle the flag or a raincoat or a tarp or a sack in motion, they're going to handle it standing still. That's the easiest place, see? And how does he know to stop? He knows to stop when I bring my arms in and I kind of just chill, Whew. right? But if I do this, breathe in, I get ready, he understands lift and go. So just to understand, that's the same thing we do riding. So here my, my posture's coming down. I had a horse come to me for training a, a couple years ago, and the owners, the new owners were real proud. They said, my horse, is, he's been trained to handle a bullwhip. And do you know what a bullwhip is? Like the cowboy movies where it's like, whoosh, those whips? Those things crack like a gunshot, right? And they were so proud because that horse could handle a bullwhip. The problem was whoever trained that horse only cracked that bullwhip when that horse was standing still. So guess what that horse did every time it got nervous? Stopped. Now, horse people can be funny because horse people sometimes say, well, I would rather have a horse stop than run. And I'm like, well, of course. Like, out of the two choices, that's better. But when I'm showing a horse or when I'm training a horse, if every time a horse got nervous, it stopped, 
You're not going anywhere. So they trained that horse's reflexes, that whole horse. They trained it every time you're nervous, stop, and it, free, it would freeze. And from a halt, a horse can rear, back up, buck, cut cattle. You see what cutting horses do. A horse at a halt can go any direction. I want you to think of this. When your horse is nervous, anytime they're nervous, like if you're flagging or if you're riding them, calm, the answer should be more calmly walk forward because they're animals of movement and they'll feel better. You'll open up the pressure relief valve mentally and let some pressure out. So rather than him getting jumpy and startled and stopping, what if he could just walk forward calmly 